Hey everyone, exciting news from Elegant Themes. Divi 5 has finally introduced native Flexbox support. In today's video, I'll walk you through the new Flexbox features in Divi 5. We'll explore how they work, and I'll show you a few real-world examples of how you can use them to improve your layouts. Let's start with a simple example. I've created a section with one row and three columns. Each column contains a text module, and I've added background colors to the row and columns so you can clearly see the structure. Now, let's open the row settings and head over to the Design tab. You'll see a new toggle called Layout. Once we switch it to Flex, several new options appear. Horizontal Gap controls the spacing between columns. If you want to use Vertical Gap, you first need to set the layout direction to column. The Justify Content setting doesn't do much at the row level in this setup, but if you enable Flex inside an individual column, then you can use Justify and Align options to position the content vertically or horizontally. Back in the row settings, you'll find alignment controls under Align Items. By default, it's set to Stretch, which makes all columns equal height, but you can also vertically align them to the top, center, or bottom as needed. For the next example, I have created a simple one-column layout with three buttons. Let's switch to wireframe view so you can see it clearly. It's just one column with three button modules stacked inside. Now, to align the buttons next to each other, set the row to flex, then set the column to flex as well. Remember, flex has to be enabled on the parent first. Now change the layout direction to row, and you'll see the buttons sit side by side. Use the justify content option to align them. Center, space between, space around, or space evenly whichever fits your design. Let's now talk about flex wrapping, a very useful feature when you have more elements than can fit in one line. In this example, I've created a single column row with eight text modules. Each module is set to 200 pixels width and height. When we set the row and column to flex and change the direction to row, all the modules line up horizontally in one long row. And that's because wrapping is disabled by default. To fix that, Enable Layout Wrapping, and now the boxes will wrap onto multiple lines while keeping their set width. You can also use Wrap Alignment to control how the wrapped lines are aligned. For example, centered on the row. And finally, setting Align Items to Center vertically aligns all the boxes within the row. Let's move to some real-world use cases. Here, I've got a section with text on the left, an image on the right, and two buttons underneath the text. Step one, align the buttons side by side. Set the row to flex, then also enable flex on the column. Instantly, the buttons appear next to each other. You can fine tune spacing using the horizontal gap. Step two, center the text block with the image. Go to the row settings and enable flex and set align items to center. Now, the text block and image are vertically aligned. For the final example, I've built a header section it has a top row with two columns, on the left a logo, on the right text and a button. We want the text and button to appear side by side and align with the logo. Here's how. Set the row to flex and choose Align Items Center. This vertically aligns the two columns. Then, enable Flex on the second column. Change the layout direction to Row, Set Justify Content to End, Align Items to Center, and Adjust the Horizontal Gap. I'll set it to 10. Now everything aligns beautifully, the logo on the left and the call to action neatly placed on the right. That's a quick overview of how Flexbox works in Divi 5. As you can see, it gives you much more control over layout, alignment, and spacing right inside the builder. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.